Hey guys, I'm Josiah, and the early reactions for Captain Marvel from critics are in. And get this, they're positive. Yeah, I know, crazy. None of us expected the reactions, the reviews for this film to be positive from critics. Crazy. And then those evil, evil, misogynistic, bad, racist, white men are giving this movie bad audience reviews on Rotten Tomatoes so we got a lot to talk about here there's a lot of things happening so let's go ahead and jump into it first let's talk about the shilling of the critics so screen rant Captain Marvel early reactions an epic nostalgic blast ah, what a blast what a blast um let's see here let's just skip all that nonsense. All right. So we got Perry Nemiroff. <laughs> uh, Perry Nemiroff. Of course you'd give this film a positive review. That does not surprise me at all. The future of the MCU gets even brighter adding Captain Marvel to the mix. Really fell for Brie Larson's sass, strength, and energy in the role. Same with Lashana Lynch too. Ooh. All the women are... Hashtag girl power. Ben Mendelsohn is A plus casting as Talos. And yes, Goose is a scene stealer. Second viewing can't come soon enough. What does that say? Want a cat? A cat is a scene stealer. A cat. Ash Crossan. I don't I don't know where she's from. Captain Marvel is takes deep. 90s breath <gasps> totally awesome never related to a marvel character quite like carol she's the stubborn witty 90s kid i think like to think i am <laughs> these people like to uh these people apparently can relate really well to a block of wood <laughs> because that's basically what captain marvel is from what we've seen up to this point I've seen more charisma, actually, from a block of wood than I have from Brie Larson. And that is fact. Eric Eisenberg. Captain Marvel is a blast! Has some cool surprises that I definitely didn't see coming. And the mystery origin it weaves is engaging and fun. Brie Larson is awesome and makes a fantastic first step in the MCU. Hashtag Captain Marvel. Brie Larson is awesome! And then we have another Eric. Eric with a K, though. Don't forget that. Hashtag Captain Marvel has a great 90s sci-fi vibe with a tone unlike any other Marvel movie. Really. It's retro and trippy. Mysterious and dorky. It's funny and surprising places and badass in all the right places. It remains entertaining because it's always changing. It's got the right stuff. Mmm. This film is going to be a masterpiece. Ugh, oh, can't wait. It's retro and trippy, mysterious and dorky. And dorky. It's funny and surprising places and badass in all the right places. Brie Larson is such a badass. Oh my gosh. Let's show these boys how we do it. Higher, further, faster, baby. Ah, oh, what a badass. What a badass. Brandon Davis. Fans of Captain Marvel comics are going to love the movie, plain and simple. Maybe if you um, enjoy the 2012 feminazi version of Captain Marvel, then yeah, you, you probably will enjoy this film because you don't care about good stories, you don't care about good characters, all you want are just little agendas in all of your movies and uh, we, we know how this works, we, are, we already know how this works. Captain Marvel, well, Thanos is effed. <laughs> This is the worst comment of them all. Because if Captain Marvel is the one that ends up beating Thanos, I will be more pissed than I've ever been seeing a movie. Seriously. If Captain Marvel ends up being the one that beats Thanos, I will probably walk out of the theater. I might. And that will be the first time I ever walk out of a theater for a movie. 
Captain Marvel does not deserve to be the one that defeats Thanos. She just, she just doesn't. If any whammon needs to be the one that defeats Thanos, it's Nebula. Or Gamora. If she's not dead. I mean, who knows? Who knows? We'll have to find out. Um, in, uh, in a couple months here, but... They are the ones that deserve to defeat Thanos if it has to be a whammon. Not Captain Marvel. That will be literally the worst thing I've ever seen in a film. That would be terrible. Like, I'm getting, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting more mad just thinking about that. She has done nothing up to this point. She doesn't deserve to be the one that defeats Thanos because we don't know a single thing about her. She's never been in a Marvel film up to this point. We've had the Avengers since 2012. That's seven years ago. <laughs> seven years of films. 20 films later. And then what do we get? We get one whammon who's stronger than everyone else. She's a blast. And she just comes in. Defeats Thanos. Oh, forget all of you guys who have been in these movies for years and years and years and have put so much time and effort into the... I'm talking about the actors playing your characters, playing characters that have gone through hell. And then Brie Larson, Captain Marvel just shows up. I'm going to defeat Thanos for you guys because you are all just a bunch of white men and you can't do it. I'm a whammon. I am strong. I can do this. Ugh. Oh my, that would be so, so bad. I would be absolutely livid if that happens. And trust me, I will make so many freaking videos if that happens. Oh. Marvel, Marvel, don't do this. Rousseau Brothers, I have faith in you. Up to this point, don't botch that. Don't freaking watch that seriously guys Kevin Feige wake up man do you know how many people are going to be absolutely pissed if Captain Marvel is the one that defeats Thanos everyone will be pissed except for your little SJW click that are going to be coming to see this movie literally not for any other reason but just to go on Twitter afterwards and be like oh Captain Marvel is the future of women she is the savior of women that is literally the only reason that those people would go see this movie they didn't care about about this series back in 2008 when iron man came out i did i've been around since 2008 anyway let's move on <laughs> to the audience scores the evil the evil white men who are targeting this film <laughs> so we have here from the hollywood reporter captain marvel targeted by negative online reviews a pre-release marvel's brie larson vehicle is being attacked without being seen for being SJW nonsense on Rotten Tomatoes. Huh. <laughs> what? This film, this activist film, where white men are not allowed to go see this movie, where white men were not allowed to, inter the overwhelming majority of white men were not allowed to interview Brie Larson, <laughs> is being seen as an SJW film? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Let's see here. What are some of the reviews we got here? Brie Larson has already said this isn't for me. I'll spend my money elsewhere. That SJW nonsense. Who cares if Brie Larson said you can't go see her film? Go see her film. You're supposed to support her. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. If these are the kind of reviews we're getting, then I don't, I don't blame these people. Oh, and then let's see. We got some people here who, who are. So excited to see this film. This looks great. Excited to see the introduction of Captain Marvel in the next phase of the MCU. The movie that will close the mouths of the Maquistas. I don't... What? Maquistas? What is that? Is that even a word? I have to look in my dictionary now. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm confused. I don't know what I don't know what that word means. Um, let's see here. Search the lead actress. Drew doesn't want. I think it's supposed to say Brie doesn't want us going as a white male. I won't go. Brie, I hope your movie is good without me. Exactly. These are the kind of reviews we're getting because. Brie Larson has already said she doesn't want the white man to go see her movie. Uh, Larson has made it clear men need not attend this movie. So people in the mainstream media are crying because these are the kind of reviews we're getting. I don't, I don't even know if any of them are necessarily talking about the movie, but they're obviously talking about the things that Brie Larson has said up to this point. And yet they act all offended. Like... <laughs> Why would you say that about this movie? Why are you not going to go support this movie? Well, it's because you just pissed off an entire demographic. Your biggest demographic. And yet you're going to act all offended and shocked and... These evil white men! Well, maybe if you kept your mouth shut, Bree, and try to show a little respect for the main demographic that are going to go, that we're going to go see this film, then you wouldn't be in this this place right now. Huh. Huh. Crazy how that works. Crazy when you shame an entire race and gender. What happens? <laughs> Just cr it's crazy. Yeah, except for the soy boys. They'll go see your movie because they they don't care what you call them. They're, I'm sure they apologize to, to whammon every day that they're white and male. Anyway, and then you have obvious bots in here that have Captain Marvel pictures than whatever that crap is this one right here not interested in supporting brie larson's agenda exactly exactly justin exactly i don't need to say anything more this this is why people are already reviewing the film because of the things that brie larson has already said it doesn't even need to be about the film it's not even about the film at this point it's about the crap that you guys are saying to the fans of the mcu Think about it. Just think about it. I know it's hard for you guys to think, just thinking beyond your NPC code, but just try. Just try a little bit. It all makes it all makes perfect sense when you think about it. Let's just take a look at this because this is beautiful. How do we get there? Okay. 60%. That is beautiful. That is the lowest I've ever seen for a Marvel film. I love it. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry this one was a little bit longer, but it had to be said. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.